My brother and sister as Christians, we believe that heaven is a real place where we will spend eternity with God. But what exactly will heaven be like? In this speech, I will share with you five facts about what heaven will be like according to the Bible. Fact hash one. Heaven will be a place of perfect joy and happiness. In Revelation 21, 4, we read that in heaven, he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Can you imagine a place where there is no more sorrow, no more pain, and no more tears? That is the kind of joy and happiness that awaits us in heaven. Fact hash 2. Heaven will be a place of perfect beauty. In Revelation 21, 1821, we read about the city of New Jerusalem, which is described as having walls made of jasper, gates made of pearls, and streets made of pure gold. The beauty of heaven will surpass anything we can imagine on earth. Fact hash 3. Heaven will be a place of perfect fellowship. In heaven, we will be reunited with loved ones who have gone before us, and we will have the opportunity to meet and fellowship with believers from every nation, tribe, and tongue. Revelation 7, 9, 10 gives us a glimpse of this. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. Fact hash 4. Heaven will be a place of perfect worship. In Revelation 5, 11, 14, we read about the worship that takes place in heaven. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering their their thousands upon thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Imagine being part of that worship, giving glory and honor to God forever. Fact hash 5. Heaven will be a place of perfect rest. In Hebrews 4, 9, 11, we read that in heaven, we will enter into God's rest. There remains, then, a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. Let us, therefore, make every effort to enter that rest. After a lifetime of toil and struggle on earth, how wonderful it will be to enter into God's rest and experience true peace and tranquility. My dear friends, these are just a few of the many truths about heaven that we find in the Bible. I hope that this speech has encouraged you and reminded you of the hope that we have in Christ. Let us strive to live in a way that reflects our citizenship in heaven, and let us eagerly look forward to the day when we will enter into our eternal home with God. May God bless you all.